What is going on guys? Welcome back. It's the next day. We are ready to produce another video for you guys. It's gonna struggle with this camera, man. This battery's sitting in the padlock all night, which is what I took hunting yesterday, and so it's freaking cold. So we're gonna try to clean my dad's truck. It's it's kind of um, full. It's got a lot of stuff in it. Pretty dirty, it's pretty nasty. You can see all the dirt and grime and it needs vacuumed and wiped down and it's pretty, it's pretty caked, it's pretty gross. So um, we decided today that we were gonna take my dad's truck. He doesn't know that we have it right now, um, but we're gonna take it, try to do the best detailed job that we can on it, given what we have here available to us, and then send it on back and park it in the drive and maybe he won't even notice. You can't so dumb. <laughs> well, that was supposed to be some smooth, cool entrance. Anyway, so we got the exterior of the truck pretty well pressure washed and wiped down with microfiber towels. Now what we're gonna do is empty the interior, so that's why we broomed off the spot. We're gonna take his guns and coats and all. What else? Did, did all he have was in there? Guns and coats and stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, guns, coats, knives, all. My dad's truck, dude, if you try to mug him in that truck, you will have so many knives and bullets in you, it's not even funny. But we're gonna get the interior cleaned out, lay it all down in here with all the stuff he has in it, and then fully detail the interior. Then once everything's clean and organized, set it all back in there nice and neat, but at least everything will be clean and not grimy, so let's get to it. So his interior is pretty, Disgusting, and I'm sorry when you see this, Dad. You're gonna think, "Why are you ripping on my interior, man? Like it's a work truck." I get it, but I mean, the door jams are coated in mud. These are coated in mud. Steps full of dirt and grime and nasty stuff. Believe it or not, the carpet's actually not. It's pretty dirty, actually. I take it back. I was gonna say it's not that bad. No, it's pretty nasty. But he had weather techs on it for years, so I don't think this has been vacuumed under here since he's bought the truck because he had weather techs in it the next day. I'm pretty sure he ordered weather tech mats when he ordered the truck and they both showed up about the same time. I'm pretty sure he's never vacuumed under here. Same with up front. He had weather techs up here too that are fitted to the truck. So he didn't get any like water or mud caked in. Just a lot of loose like hay and loose dirt and stuff. He's got all kinds of books and videos that he watches when he's driving. Like, I mean, you can get an idea of the guy just when you look at some of the stuff he has in his truck, like tax-free wealth, TD Jake stuff, John Bevere. What does it say? Good or God? Why good without God isn't enough? Yeah, so I mean, he's got everything he has in his truck in terms of content that he listens to and reads and stuff. It's all just like learning stuff, which is pretty dope. Let's get to uh, cleaning this out. <laughs> Vacuuming all done. There's the passenger side mat. Show you the back seat. Got the back seat all vacuumed out. We're wiping down all the door jams right now on the door sills. We're gonna get those all wiped down. I'm gonna take these, wipe down all the seats, and then hopefully we will be ready to throw the mats back in. They're still a little bit foggy looking. We pressure washed them off the best we could, and there's a lot of you know rocks and mud and stuff stuck to them, so they're gonna look a lot better, but still a little bit dirty, but it'll be much better than it was. Oh, 
We're rolling. Ready? We got the truck pretty much done. Actually, entirely done for what we're gonna do to it. We focused on the exterior, we got everything sprayed down, wiped down, we got the interior emptied. Then we got the interior floor um, mats pressure wash, we vacuumed the floor, and then we organized some of the stuff that we saw around and, and then emptied all the crap from underneath the seats, vacuumed under the seats, vacuumed over top of the factory floor mats and underneath of the factory floor mats we did all the vacuuming, then we took leather wipes, wiped down all the leather interior, got off the dirt and grime and dust off all the seats, wiped down the dash and all the handles and steering wheel, all that kind of stuff. So everything has to go back in the truck though because this was in the truck and we're gonna try to as neatly as possible put this back inside the truck to where it's still there because these are his necessities. And then call it good. The back seat first. Here's the back seat. You can see that's all cleaned out, wiped down. Like I said, that WeatherTech mat's still a little bit foggy from dust, but it's way cleaner than it was. You can see the front mat, we pressure washed it, wiped down all the leather, wiped down the dash and the wheel. It's still a little dusty. We tried not to mess with all of his stuff in the door just because every man has their own type of messy that's their own type of organized I think they go hand in hand that's how he has his door set up and that stuff's been in there so we're gonna leave it like that now with the back seat we're going to reorganize the stuff that he had in there so it's a little bit a little bit neater and then call it good swipe my dad's truck now I'm not sure what he's gonna say once he sees it or if he's gonna send me a message and acknowledge it or what I don't know I don't know when he's gonna use the truck next but hopefully you enjoy the truck being clean dad anyways Monday is the start for the giveaway of this truck so make sure you guys check out the website down below January 11th so maybe you're not seeing this until then but January 11th is a start date of this giveaway so if you want to check out the website we have some limited products available to see now check it out and see what you might want to grab when the giveaway goes live because those products are only going to be available until they sell out and then they're gone so um, anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i might throw in some extra clips here at the end if i decide to of my recent hunts anyways guys i will catch you in the next video